executive press. Cutting edge development. So what's new? I'm living on the edge. Here's a shot of our backyard, our lack of backyard. It's missing. It's gone. As you can see, we have a bit of an erosion problem. And we've run out of ideas on how to fix it. So if our house slides into the river there, uh, you'll know why. So uh, the uh, COVID-19 crisis is winding down. And our neighborhood power transformer blew up around 5 a.m. on Friday. There was a loud bang. Flames shot out of it. And it took half the power on our block and also brought down our internet for the past three days. But that's not what this is about either. Now this video is about sound level detection. This is a little project that I put together. This uh, app records, actually it doesn't record, it just takes samples of a uh, sound level. Press the start button and as you can see it just you just adjust the clipping here to uh, cut out the noise basically and uh, all it does is analyze the sound level it doesn't check frequencies or anything else so <clears throat> that's it uh, probably the simplest thing I could put together to uh, check out the uh, web audio advanced programming interface or API so that's what this does but uh, I was playing around with this and I noticed that uh, different words look different even with such uh, low bandwidth each line on this graph is uh, 1 60th of a second so it's a sampling rate of about 60 Hertz which is terrible um, but even with such low bandwidth uh, you can see that each word looks different so I was wondering just how bad uh, speech recognition or sound detection um, would work with this. So let's uh, let's take a look here. What I did is I put uh, I put together a uh, a sampler to to train different words, and you just click the button and you go okay. Okay, yeah, that's it. I just train the okay, and then uh, we can create more words here, like uh, test, test, <clears throat> and each time um, we can recognize based on the shape here. Basically, well, I just made it subtract. We take a Gaussian difference between the input and the output so all it knows now is okay and test and that's it it's either okay or test <clears throat> excuse me so <clears throat> what else can this do well in order to I guess discriminate between the uh, words um, and the noise in the background we have to actually train some background noise so we'll just make a, a noise sample here that's just some noise to train it on and maybe uh, some traffic noise or something mm, basically some background noise so that'll help. I noticed that really helped a lot. Now test, test. See, it recognizes test, and it can tell that from the noise. OK. And it does OK. And then you can train more words with this. And all it is doing is just taking a sample of the volume levels. So. It, it's not really that great even but even even so um, it does a surprising surprisingly good job it's about 70 percent accurate and a little more if you tweak it a bit and, and get better noise samples and but uh, 
you could use this to count cars or a passing um, to traffic samples or put it in put it in a Raspberry Pi or other small computer or uh, chip and categorize sounds maybe uh, I don't know listen to mating calls or something and it will recognize the different sounds based on the volume profile and that's about it there's no frequency detection or anything and the sampling rate like I said is only 60 cycles but even so it's pretty amazing uh, let's train a couple more words here hello 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 I didn't do a very good sample hello 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 there I recognize hello okay and you can make it recognize sounds too like we'll, we'll do a couple claps here we'll, we'll do two claps for the clapper okay we got two claps it recognized that another thing I did is I used uh, I created some events so that when it recognizes a sound or volume profile um, a certain sound pattern it will fire that event so you can listen to it with JavaScript and actually trigger something based on the noise so um, it creates an event for each word put down there there's a hello event there's a traffic event um, so every time a car passes it'll count the car that went by and uh, it'll count every time you say like hello hello really pretty uh, amazing what it can do with just the uh, sound profile but you can fool it too because it doesn't really know the difference like I said you could go what wow and it thinks it's <laughs> see it recognized that as okay what wow see it doesn't know the difference it's just measuring the volume the changes in volume is all but even so it's pretty wild um, with such with such limited information what uh, what it can do so I just thought I'd share that with you and um, I guess I'll just leave some links in the description there for this project here and we'll see what uh, what we can do with it